one of you here? You guys want to? last night and and my roommate my roommate thought I wore her shoes today she was like did you wear my shoes today and also like what are you doing with that knife <laughs> 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 in my backpack I was gonna run to the to the woods and eat raw animal flesh. Besides, why are we not tearing at each other? Why are we not teenagers in a basement and drinking beverages and thinking tribal thoughts? All I do nowadays is unlock my bike and computer password. A good way to memorize a complex password is to come up with a sentence like I was walking home from school and I hear what I thought was a child's voice screaming my name. <laughs> I W W H F S A I H W I T W A C V S M N nine nine five two. See, passwords don't have to be actual words. Uh, I was walking home from school and I heard what I thought was a child's voice screaming my name, 9952. <laughs> Passwords aren't actual words. <laughs> In fact, when they're not actual words, they're harder to guess. And so I'm walking home from school and I hear what I thought was a child's voice screaming my name, but I ignored it because something is always screaming at me. But it turns out it was the mailman saying that I should check my Google Plus account. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, back off, man. Do you want a blood count? It's weird that you have a lot of front teeth. You <laughs> applied a lot of layers of lotion. You're going to want to run to room 1304. No room 1305. For a media center return, media center tripod. Media center clothespin, seat 47 minutes, and then leave one minute made juice in the cafeteria, but don't touch your face. It says you're going to want to touch your face. Many emotions cause you to put your hands on your face, but don't touch your face. I'm not going to fucking touch my face, man. I'm in the middle of painting my nails. Besides, they're not done drying. I know one day I will dry. But I don't dry just yet. I have a little longer, and the only sexy thing to do is litter. I took out the recycling I did. But the bin was full, so I left tracks in the snow showing how I dumped it into a stranger's bin. Do you have a twin? I swear I saw you making guest appearances on train platforms as that person that you resemble. Don't think I don't know how your face is assembled. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Yeah, I didn't. But I didn't come here for that. I came to bury an apple in the backyard. But my mother ate the apple, and so now it's buried in her. And I'm walking home from school, and I hear what I thought was a child's voice screaming my name, but I ignored it because something is always screaming at me. But it turns out it was the mailman saying that I should read this article about deep-sea divers who 
hate taking baths because of the soap in their eyes. And I'm like, back off, man. There are dog jaws in my thighs. <laughs> and I know your father hates the baby. I know you're not that into my new haircut, but what you say about the apples and the screaming is really observant and wise. And I'm going to quote it to people like it's my idea. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nothing is stimulating enough. And I'm ignorant still. I've run out of world, and I need to know everything that has ever happened. I will not be outdone. I refuse to watch that rerun. I know it's going to happen. It's the tree, and then the left, and the right, and the long curve, and the stop, and the right, and the left, and the bump, and the, and the right, and the straight, and the left, and the 7-Eleven, and the right, and the left, and the straight into where the process has to go further, whether your ego likes it or not. I know you're not fishing for compliments, but you can have those for free. But then lock the key, because once someone has figured out one password, they've figured out all your passwords and have access to every part of your life. How am I going to afford my new facial reconstruction mask? I would wash anyone's feet if I were asked, but no one has asked. Jesse's bored, and Ray Ray's in Rochester with a massive hair collected off his brush, because it's getting so long since we last saw each other. But one day, one dog will find us both, snapping its jaws it'll taste different then. Even though I think we've met before, I think Matt Gulish saw us riding a borrowed bike across the highway to find a gemstone ring for our middle finger. Let me just say that I never figure out how to live in a world or to be a real person with a real face. But at least we're in a place that's not New York. <laughs> <laughs> we should all be grateful we're somewhere cold and less like New York. <laughs> We should all be grateful to have a glove or two. Glove is kind of like this cozy pocket. You like put your hand in this little pocket. And if you put a pocket inside of a pocket, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on in there. <laughs> is it a toothpick or a tampon? Is it a, a Lego or a, a love note? Is it my leg? Is it my leg in this pocket? And when you have a pocket in a pocket, it's kind of hard to tell if you even have legs. And when you don't have legs, your clothes might not even have pockets. If you don't have pockets, you might not have pennies. If you don't have pennies, you might not be lucky. But I am a very lucky woman. And I feel as lucky as I feel. I feel so blessed, so lucky, but really, I do feel so lucky. I'm happy to be here. I consider myself a very, very fortunate person. And I am very blessed, very grateful, very grateful. And I count my blessings. And I have a lot to count. I am a very, very lucky woman and feel as lucky as I feel. But I feel so blessed, so lucky. But really, I do feel so lucky and happy to be here. I, mean, I consider myself a very, very fortunate person. I am blessed and I'm very grateful very grateful, and I count my blessings, and I, I have a lot to count. One, two, three coffees, four of spades, queen of diamonds, one forearm, one bear mask, and a donkey across the room. Well, what is an ass without a leg? What is, what is, what is this building if it's not permanently standing in one place? What is there to lose? Well. A TV contest, or a tooth, or like something private and important. But as guests exit the ride, they have the option of watching a six minute tourist film that features various attractions, including my worst qualities growing limbs at a rate in which an attacker can submit guest passwords to the system. You might want to change your name. You might want to offer new login solutions via text message or facial recognition. Why am I on the floor? <laughs> Can everyone even see me right now? <laughs> it's good to be seen sometimes. It's important to learn how to play a small piano. 
It's important to talk tarot with your allergist and put your question mark face on and work up to making a big bang and then move the fuck on and then make another one. Life's about events. We remember things not in a chronological way but through these things that we do to participate in these events. A lot of people are spectators through events but you don't have to be. You have to make some big bangs, light something on fire, maybe with someone else, it doesn't matter and that's it. Don't go to sleep, don't let her go to sleep. It says you're gonna feel sleepy, don't go to sleep. I'm not gonna fucking go to sleep, man. I'm in the middle of giving birth. Besides, I told you to fucking read that manual months ago and now you're reading it the day of, you piece of shit. See, it's very useful when I'm birthing something to have a very strong belief there's no better way to do anything than my way. <laughs> Maybe this is a sickness I have, but I'll try anything. I'll be a pop star for you, I'm very serious. Take a concept of yourself and try it out. Go through every letter and number combination. Don't get married. Many people make you want to marry them. Many mothers want to help with one last detail, such as the veil, and have a full-length shot of the bride looking at herself in the mirror, and the father seeing the bride in her gown, and the close-up shot of the wedding bands, and the interior and exterior shots of the site before guests arrive, and the groom with his groomsmen, the groom with his best man, and the groom with his parents and siblings, and the groom walking down the aisle with his mother, and the, and the bride walking down the aisle with her escort, and the groom reacting to the bride walking down the aisle with her escort, and the bride and the groom at the, the altar, and the wide-angle shot of the altar from the guest's point of view, and the wide-angle shot of the guest from the altar's point of view, and the close-up <laughs> shot of the, of the vows, and the close-up shot of the hands, and the rings, and the and the kissing, and the bride with her mother, and bride with her father, and bride with her, with both parents, and groom with his mother, and groom with his father, and the groom with the both parents, and the bride and groom with bride's family, and bride and groom with groom's family, and bride and groom with entire immediate family, and bride and groom with groom's men, and bride and groom with bridesmaid, and, and bride and groom with entire wedding party, and the, the cake, bouquet toss, and spin. Does she know that you're having twins? Does she know that this is how I eat my food? This is how I travel? This is how I get back to my family when I want to see them? This is how I think because of my culture? These are my sick obsessions because I'm an American and I'm a ghastly boar and I just flew from Chicago and I don't know where to Spanish and I'm doing this because I need to take care of my lamp and lipstick shade and my time at a desk is gonna give me cancer. Take a concept of yourself and try it out. Go through every letter and number combination or else this is a tragedy. Not even a beautiful tragedy, but a tragedy. Thank you.